What's up guys? I just finished the final mission in Act 1, Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. I did it solo and I'm going to show you guys exactly how easy it is. Alright guys, so here we go. I'm going to show you guys exactly how I did this. It's really easy. It just takes a little while to get it all done. But basically, the final mission in Act 1, we have to locate Dr. Jansen. And then we have to escort Dr. Jansen uh, to the helipad and uh, pretty much um, complete the mission. So, my loadout for the Act 1 final mission was a little different than my previous videos. So, number one, I suggest an LMG, specifically this LMG right here, one of my favorites as well, the Holger uh, 2.6, because it is an LMG, 60 rounds to the mag, and it's quick reloading. There's going to be a ton of enemies, guys, ton of zombies, and you need that LMG, fam. And my secondary weapon, y'all normally, typically, I try to uh, leave that slot empty so I can run fast. I'm not worrying about that. It's going to be a ton of enemies. So I was like, let me have a secondary weapon. Second thing, guys, very important. Try, like, for me, um, I waited until all my uh, schematics and perks were finished with the cooldown. And I, I got all my freaking perks, man. Spe especially the Juggernaut, the Speed Cola. Uh, speed Cola and Stamina Up, those three specifically, but if you have any other ones, go ahead and load them up as well. And also, as you can see from my previous um, ex exfiltration, I picked up a crystal, Ethereum crystal, to immediately get one of my, get my weapon power punch. Now, I don't know if you saw that right there, but that little star is where you're going to go, but you do not have to immediately go there. Use a lot as much time as you want. Just don't take up the whole 45 minutes, obviously. But what I did, guys, I used um, pretty much the, the beginning of getting into the map, preparing for the escort part of the mission. So I went and did these uh, little Aether nests in um, the infected buildings. Number one, to Go ahead and get some good loot. I'm trying to find any kind of ammo mod that I want to find. I picked up uh, two chunks of flesh. I put those in there because guess what, guys? This is really cool. The freaking dog actually follow, follows you throughout the entire escort mission. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, you're going to see it later in the video. I go down and I'm glad I had him with me, even though I had some revive kits. I personally saved my revive kits just in case the freaking dog eventually does go down. If he did, I would have still had my revive kits. So I held on to him. Didn't even need to use the freaking things. So freaking Fido, shout out to him. So as you can see, that's all I'm doing right now, guys. Um, pretty much you just want to loot. Take a, lo a lot of time. Get some loot. You want to get... Um, you want to get as much loot as you can. You want to get the ammo, dry, uh, ammo mods. You want to get a at least two sentry gun turrets. That's very important. And um, what do you call those? Those turret? Not those turret. Um, the sentry guns, um, kill streaks, and you also want to find at least one turret circuit board. Very important, guys. Do not start the exfiltration uh, exfiltration mission right there you see it's going to be right here with a little star on it um, that's where you want to kick off the mission but do not start that guys definitely want to make sure you have at least one turret circuit board and a couple sentry guns man and here i'm going to show you guys why so when you get ready when you get ready like i said don't rush look i still have nine minutes left in the map I could have looted some more, but I felt confident enough that, you know, I got, actually, as you can see, I got both my weapons power punched, which is very important. You want to have both weapons power punch, pack, 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 y'all know what I'm talking about, fam. All right, I'm getting tongue twisted. 
Now, it's going to be, it's going to trigger, when you get to it, um, it's going to trigger this little cutscene right here. And if you actually pay attention, as I said earlier, the dog followed me. So definitely want to have that bad boy with you. And he's a level two dog, like I said. Two chunks of flesh, a stronger, better fighter. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, so basically what you want to do, it's going to pretty much tell you that you need to go to that uh, yellow spot in the map. That's where you want to get to. Dude, I'm not, I'm going to tell you guys, man, I just ran for it, dude, be honest with you. And that's why I got this, the uh, stamina up so I can run quick. I did not even entertain these fools, man. I just kept running, guys. I didn't even entertain these freaking zombies. In the Look, there's a sniper up there. I didn't even entertain that fool, man. If any zombies got too close, I just threw out my decoy grenade. And then right here is where the rubber meets the road. This is the meat and potatoes. This is where the real fight starts. In this building, guys. In this freaking building. Do not even just entertain all these fools, man. Just run up these uh, stairs. And it's going to be some bag. It's going to be some mercs in there, fam. But normally you would have to worry about zombies coming up behind you as well. But that's why I threw that's why I threw out those freaking deep grenades. Now, there is gonna be a freaking Merc with I don't know what kind of weapon he had, fam. And he's armored up as well. So just be ready for a fight when you get all the way up the uh, when you get to the top of the stairs. Be ready. But like I said, man, make sure you got revive kits. Make sure you got that dog with you. When you get to the very top, you're gonna come out. It's going to be like one or two guys. And this is why I, pa I pack a punch my weapon. Right here. It's going to be a freaking mimic, man. I wasn't even... I'm like, dude, I'm not even... I didn't even entertain that fool, man. I just like, you know what? You, you waste my time. You know, right? <laughs> and that's why I'm saying, fam, yo. Power punch them weapons, man. You're going to take care of it very easily. Now, you're going to come up here. And there's going to be a computer or a laptop. You're going to do your thing on the laptop. And it is going to trigger the next phase. Which is basically uh, the comms tower. And we actually find a location where Dr. Jensen is held up at, fam. She's actually, right now, she's destroying some files before um, we can exfil, exfil her out of there. So, just like the first part, I didn't even entertain none of these fools, fam. I just, I'm not even, dude, I, didn't, dude, I did not entertain these guys, man. You want to head for that blue spot. Basically, it's where Dr. Jensen is at right now. You're going to get there, but the door's going to be locked. So, you're just going to have to kind of hover around and just kill zombies. Uh, and just kind of make sure, you know, um, the, the spot is clear and whatnot, guys. So... Basically, that's what I did right here. I put down one of my sentry guns right there. Right there to kind of take care of these little burnts and zombies that's around and stuff. Here I go. I go down again. I could have used my self-revive. Yeah, I get it. But my strategy was, what if what if the dog freaking goes down and dies? And then I used up all my freaking revive kits. But I'm freaking screwed. So as long as the dog was alive, I was like, I'm going to just wait on the, I'm gonna wait on Fido. You know what I'm talking about, fam? All right. So, like I said, look, another refill um, ammo right there. But like I said, you're going to get to where she's at, the little blue dot, and the door's still locked. She's still, you know what I'm saying, she's still deleting files and all that kind of stuff. It's going to take some time, man. It's going to be a little bar eventually that's going to, you have to wait for it to go, get to 100%. Right there, file deletion progress. All right, she's working right now. So, all I did, guys, was kind of uh, just run around. And just kill zombies, man. That's why I can, I'm glad I had the level 2 dog right there with me, fam. You know? So, yeah, the dog putting in work. I got I got, I got, got a little bit of time. I got 22%. It's going to keep going. It's going to keep going. You know what I'm saying? Just just run around like I did, man. And just kill mercs. Kill zombies. You know? Rack up, rack up points. You don't really need the uh, essence at this point. You know? But, hey. It is what it is. All right. So then, like I said, man, just kill, kill, kill these zombies, man. Kill these little mercs. Every time I felt like I was getting surrounded, uh, uh, every time I felt like I was about to get surrounded, I would just throw out a decor grenade. If I ran out of decor grenade, there's two, there's two 
actually three freaking ammo resupplies. Good to go. You know what I mean? Good to go. So there's gonna be helicopters are gonna drop down. Uh, more mercs, dude. I didn't. I, <laughs> I, I didn't even entertain these guys, man. I'm gonna tell you why in a second. This is why I chose to have two sentry guns, man. I hardly even entertain these fools. They just, <laughs> they just mercs at the end of the day. And I really, this, I, <laughs> I was going. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I thought that was gonna be a lot harder than it was. Like to me, the mercs were harder in some of these missions in the regular in the regular game you know what i'm saying <laughs> so eventually you're gonna see it get to 100 percent guys and basically now Je dr jensen is basically saying i'm ready to be escorted so then boom all i do all you gotta do then you know what i'm saying resupply ammo if you need to you know get re-up and then she's gonna bust out the door like freaking rambo like she a badass fan with the with the ak you know what i'm saying uh Freaking <laughs> raffle, dude! I thought that was funny. Now she did. Now, if you listen closely, she she'll be like, "Oh, you know, hey, I can't handle myself." She even almost butt stroked this dude in the back of the head. I'm like, "Okay, look at Doctor Jensen, fam. All right." So yeah, guys, man. Basically, you just want to use that other sentry gun, kind of help secure the area, and help uh, help escort her through. And then she's gonna go through the building. And honestly, like, I didn't know where she was going, so I kinda like stayed behind her a little bit. That way I can kinda figure out where she's going. I can kinda look ahead, but also I can have the, have a, her six as well. And um, and do it that way, man. But dude, there was really not a whole lot of opposition when you get up here. I thought it was gonna be freaking crazy, bro. But I'm like, yo, this is like, dude, this is, this is easier than the freaking uh, mid-tier area. So eventually, um, you're gonna go up the stairs right there. You gotta escort her all the way to the helipad, which is where we're getting to. Now, this is where it could get crazy for you guys. Hopefully you got your revive kits, you got your, you got your plates, you got your fast reload, your speed cola. This is where it gets crazy. They, zombies come out the freaking woodwork, but we got another trick up our sleeve. This is why I said loot for at least one circuit board. Cause you want to put the circuit board in this puppy right here and this thing will eat this turret was hungry fam and i just let that turret eat 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 like it's thanksgiving fam all right <laughs> you know what i'm saying guys and basically that's that's pretty much the the end of it right there you're gonna see the helicopter's gonna um land for you for the freaking x field and then boom there you go check mark check mark you're done we're good to go we're finished that is how to do the act one mission solo dolo it's going to trigger a cutscene and then another cutscene feel free check that out i'm not going to put that up here but yeah guys man hope that hope that actually helped you guys out if it did let me know in the comment section and yeah man like the video and we'll see you on the next video Peace.